Hello, and welcome back to another another mini-sode of the Conversations with Coaches podcast in the Lessons series. Still a working title, but I like it. It's kind of growing on me a little bit. And the lesson I want to share with you today is a lesson that's very near and dear to my heart, something that I think has been with me for a very long time as an, as an adult human being kind of. It took me a little while to get there. I'm, I don't wanna, I'm, I'm years old. Uh, sorry if that was garbled there, but you know, I'm leaving it in. Anyway, I'm an older gentleman at this point, and there's been a number of things I've been working on for a long time. Just internally thinking about, feeling about, talking with my friends and family and loved ones about, and and honestly talking with these coaches on this podcast about. It has really been just to be a little aside, selfishly, this is fantastic for me. I get to talk with so many different coaches who are so good at their jobs and basically get like little mini coaching sessions with them. Uh, don't, don't tell them I said that. It's fantastic. Anyway, the lesson I want to focus on today is about questions and answers. And I was speaking, I, I loved this episode. I was speaking with uh, Dr. James Rogers, James O. Rogers. And Dr. Rogers I can't say enough about him. I was I was just like, I, I paused because I would, I'm like stumbling over my words to find the right ones or enough of them to to praise him as a human being. And we didn't talk for terribly long. I I honestly, I actually, I do remember, I felt greedy when we were getting towards the end of the episode because he was just so good to talk to. And I just wanted to just sit with him and talk with him for hours and hours and hours until basically I got tired or hungry. <laughs> it was just, it was such a delight. And I actually, I just, I felt compelled to say that to him. It's like, I was feeling greedy and he had a delightful response just came right up. He said like, you know, let's be, let's be greedy again sometime soon. Just, it was just a delightful, delightful experience for me. And one of the, one of the focuses of his wisdom of what he shared with me is about his approach to coaching and how he's not so much interested in answering your questions, but questioning your answers. And I love that because that vibed so strongly with something that I've been, like I said, I've been working on for a really long time about realizing that the quest for, I don't know if quest is the right word really, but for like wisdom, for joy, for satisfaction in life, for meaning, for purpose, for passion. It's not so much about finding the answers. There's not really a stopping point where you just, you know the thing and that's it. You're done. You know the thing. That's great. You've done it. Accomplished. Yay. Um, it's nice to think about that sometimes, but most things in life and the best things in life are much more, a little bit cliche, but much more journey than destination. And really, it seems like the this quest, I'm going to go ahead and stick with quest. This quest is not about finding better answers, but in asking better questions. And I've been finding that to be truer and truer every day in my life that I actually choose to advance in that journey. There are some days where I just don't, I, I don't feel like I have it in me and I just, you know, I'm just, you know, kind of stagnant or whatever. We won't talk about those days. These are for about the positive days. Most days are positive, at least in this regard, because finding better questions to ask, it really, it's a game changer. And I loved the way that that concept, that call to action was at the heart of Dr. Rogers's entire approach to coaching questioning your answers because by doing so you find those better questions like so why did you why did you answer that way why did you respond that way it's almost it's a it's would be a trite way to say it, but it's, it's almost cliche where you have the like the therapist and there you have somebody on a couch and they're they, they got their legs up and the therapist has their little notebook or whatever and they they just ask so how did that make you feel and it's it's a cliche because it's overused in, in movies and television and stories and book the world over. It's you know, it's kind of become almost funny. But there's a lot of there's a lot of truth in that. There's a lot of value in that. It's like just, just questioning your answers. It's like, why did you say that? Why did you do that? Why did you respond that way? How could you respond differently? Just et cetera, et cetera. These these questions that lead you to better questions, that then lead you to better questions, and that that in and of itself is this beautiful self-sustaining journey it has this momentum to it that really it's like you feel, sometimes it feels like you know you're picking a foot up out of the mud and trudging forward from from imperfect answer to imperfect answer and it's hard it's a lot of hard work but questioning and finding those better questions there is just such a powerful momentum to it in my experience anyway that it really quite frankly it's, it's magic for lack of a better words magical i i resort to that word often because i have trouble finding I can I can only use tremendous or special or insightful so many times and magical really captures it almost in that sense of 
what's that quote from Arthur C. Clarke? Is it Arthur C. Clarke? Sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. I might be butchering that a little bit, but I've always loved that concept. And I don't know, sufficiently advanced coaching feels like magic to me. So anyway, seek better questions, question your answers. Also, if, if you have like any time, listen to my episode with Dr. Rogers, find him wherever you can find him. He's just, he is one of the greatest human beings I've had the pleasure of spending 20 minutes with on a Zoom chat. <laughs> so if you have the opportunity, I highly recommend it. Um, and thank you for listening to this rambling lesson that I had for you today. And I'll talk to you again soon.